Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on this channel. We are going to dive into Figma again today. I think it's a great app, it has so much potential and I would like to show you some of the things that you can do with it that we didn't look at in the first video that I made. I made like a comparison between Sketch and Figma and tried some functionalities out in this last video. And today I would like to just show you the collaboration feature or features that Figma is giving us when we are working with designers, stakeholders, other developers, product managers and so on. So we are here in Figma on this right on this left and right side basically this is the downloaded version and this is in the browser. I got also a third window open up right here which we are going to use for the collaboration and I created a team. You can simply create other teams uh, in this area and um, what you can do is just invite people, you can uh, select what they should do and so on if you are like the owner of the team and you can simply create a new project right here and let's just dive into the first project. Now we have a few files right here. You can import our uh, sketch files, PNGs, JPEGs and so on uh, just using the drag and drop. Let's dive into the first file. The loading takes a moment and on this other side, the downloaded client, we're going to open up the file as well. Now we are using the same account on the downloaded version and on the browser version and you're going to see that I have like three avatars right here. Now as I said I have a th um, third window opened up which is the SketchUp TV account right there and I have as I said the browser and downloaded version and these are these two accounts that you can see right here you can set to observe them and you can simply use both uh, one account on the downloaded version and on the browser in real time basically. i uh, not sure why the avatars aren't showing up right here but never mind. Um, so you see we have different accounts right here uh, different stuff right here, a UI basically that I'm going to use to show you some of the things that you can do and you already see as I'm navigating through this document that on the left side you are seeing my mouse cursor and you are basically seeing what I'm doing. If I'm selecting something, if I'm changing something, you are seeing all of that stuff. I'm going to open up the second account which is the SketchUp TV account and you also see that I'm changing stuff. We can even, for example, rename this right here. Let's say this is just headlines or headline or something like that. And as I'm changing the content, you are in real time seeing that I'm actually doing that. And that's, in my case, I think that's a great chance, a great feature to just see what are you actually colleagues doing in the file that you maybe uploaded. And we can do different other cool things with Figma. We can add comments. Now, if you add a comment, you get this little uh, tip right here and you can place it basically anywhere. So for example, let's just place it right here. And let me expand the window a little bit so we can see the whole pop-up. Now let's write in something like, uh, basically that's just a note and you can post it. Now you have the chance to resolve it, you can also edit and delete it. Now if I'm making my window smaller again, and if I'm going back to this one, let me show the UI, let me uh, expand this window right now. If I'm going to select the comments feature so I can see all the comments, I immediately see that there has been added, a new comment has been added. Uh, a few seconds ago, by me, I can select it and add another comment, like that, reply, and I immediately see that someone just replied to it. I can say I want to resolve it, then it's gone, and of course I can also add a new comment to this. We can also just 
use this feature to collaborate in a better way with developers, with PMs and so on. You can also select to receive email notifications if something is changing, if someone is replying or adding new comment and so on. You get like a number, a numerical order for your tips, for your notes that you can use to have like a hierarchy or to have like a sense of in which stage this has been added. And I think that's quite, quite a, a nice way, a great chance to actually use this feature. I think uh, Figma is using a great way of collaboration in this, in this app or in this browser window. Um, it's, it's very open-minded. You can do so many things with it. And I think basically Figma is really opening up to a whole new world because we can really just smash in our sketch files and just edit them, add notes, uh, work together with develop developers in a great way. And the only thing that I'm still missing is that uh, I would like to have a better performance. But I think this will happen within the next months and until the end of the year you are able to use this Figma right here fully free without uh, any costs and it's great, it's great and I want to maybe do even a more do even me, uh, more tutorials about the app. Um, you can of course to talk about more about the team stuff just add a new team I'm going to show this to you right now so you can also have like an inside of that add a new team you can also as there was a small uh, like description you can also import your teams from slack now type in any emails to invite the people once they click the link in the email they can register or just log in to the project and yeah here we have it again you can simply add your team using slack and you can invite other people, you can add new projects. And once you like created a project, something like that, you can directly go into this. And it's super, super easy to just drag in a file. Then it's uploading. In this case, it's just a PNG, so we can't really do much with it. But we can add notes and we can uh, use this for prototypes. And actually, in, I think this is a great feature a great app and I think this Figma really really has much potential uh, to become really big and to support the community in a great way. Now I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you got like a sense of the features and the collaboration that you can do with Figma and Sketch and I just want to thank you for listening to this episode. We are seeing us again again on our Wednesday. And yeah, just enjoy your week and have a nice day. See you.